China's state media, the Global Times website, reports that the government will retaliate against U.S. sanctions against technology companies in an equivalent manner. Hello, welcome to our channel. We're excited to share our videos with you. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our new videos. China promises to impose countermeasures against U.S. entities that undermine China's sovereignty and security after Washington used armed forces to shoot down a civilian balloon, according to the Chinese government. After the incident the U.S. government sanctioned Chinese companies, companies and a research institute are prohibited from obtaining technology items from Americans without U.S. government authorization. Chinese experts believe that a backlash against the U.S. for sanctioning Chinese entities over the balloons is both necessary and reasonable. According to them, since the balloon incident, China maintained a professional and calm attitude and notified the U.S., but the U.S. overreacted and made unfounded accusations against China while imposing unilateral sanctions. Some experts called for an effective management channel between the two sides to deal with similar incidents in the future. U.S. balloons have illegally flown over China's airspace at least 10 times, over northwest China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region and southwest China's Zizing Autonomous Region, Tibet. Wang Wenbin, spokesperson for China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs, revealed at a routine press conference on Wednesday. According to the government, China says it warned the U.S. about the balloon that flew over U.S. airspace and that the fact occurred due to force majeure weather reasons. According to the Chinese spokesman, at the time when Chinese airspace was invaded by alleged American balloons, China's treatment was calm and professional. The U.S. military shot down another aerial object over Lake Huron on Sunday, marking the third consecutive day that an unidentified object has been shot down in U.S. airspace. The U.S. government said on Tuesday that so far it has no evidence that the three aerial objects it shot down last weekend were linked to China or any other foreign spying program. The Chinese spokesperson neither denied nor confirmed that there is a connection between the balloon and the other objects down. According to the Global Times channel, mixed signals continue to emerge from the U.S. in recent days about measures to ease tension with China. According to the portal, U.S. media reported that U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is considering a meeting with China's top diplomat Wang Yi at the upcoming Munich Security Conference. There is nothing confirmed in this regard. Furthermore, U.S. President Joe Biden recently said that the Chinese balloon shot down by the U.S. military did not harm bilateral relations. Despite the various accusations by the Chinese government about American balloons, it occurs only after their balloon was shot down, until this moment we did not find any public pronouncement from the Chinese government about something similar, it does not seem to me something that the Chinese government would let pass silently. Well, that was today's update on this case. What do you think? Was the US reaction disproportionate? Missing dialogue? Do you think American balloons really invaded Chinese airspace? Thank you so much guys. See you soon.